best sushi we've ever had. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> um, so, context. We have arrived in Cheltenham. We're staying here for three days. Um, and we're going to do the Cotswolds tomorrow and Wednesday. It's currently Monday. So, yeah, we arrived. Um, we went to Cribs Causeway on the way for lunch. Um, just the shopping centre. It was like half an hour away from Bristol Airport. Um, for lunch. And then drove here. We just kind of chilled out for a bit. Joe had a nap. Um, and then we played some bowling and did like the art. Won. Yes, Joe won. And um, then we did like those arcade games. We played air hockey, like the Jurassic Park shooting game. I tried the claw machine. And basketball. Did not like the claw machine. Yeah, and Joe got a new high score on the basketball for like the three machines. He like got a new high score. And then we went to Kibo 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 Sushi, which oh my god was the best sushi we've ever had ever. But we're both very, very full now. So. Yes, this is just we're just gonna deal with this angle. But tomorrow we are driving to um Stow on the Wold area and Burton on Mar no Morton on Marsh and Burton in the Water. I think that's right. And we're just gonna do some like cute little walks, um, see the little towns. We've got a pub meal book tomorrow night, which looks really good. Um so that's the plan for tomorrow and then we're driving down to Laycock and Sirencester on Wednesday and Laycock <laughs> is where they film some of Harry Potter so we're going to try and see if we can book tickets to go to the Abbey and like see the Harry Potter the Harry Potter classrooms because you know we're, we're 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 really sad like that we love Harry Potter oh where was it that I saw that had oh the Forest of Dean as well that, that's near here I want to see how close it is because I feel like I want to go there as well just because again Harry Potter um but yeah so our plan for the next like two days is just to do some nice walking see some nice countryside and then Thursday we're driving down to Bristol dropping the hire car off which was a whole other story they messed up the booking well no they didn't mess up the booking they just didn't have the car that we'd rented ordered whatever and they had nothing similar to it because basically I was just going to drive and Joe was just going to be a passenger basically but because they have that whole under 25 premium you can only drive certain cars and they didn't have a car that I could drive that was an automatic uh, that was a manual they would like they were like you can only have an automatic I was like I don't want an automatic so whole kerfuffle with that so Joe's now driving but it's a very nice car and he did well on the motorway considering he's never driven on the motorway before but yeah so that was a whole kerfuffle but hopefully there's no more hiccups with anything but yeah we're dropping the car off Thursday and then just chilling in Bristol for a few days and shopping Good. I'm just gonna chill out go to sleep and then get ready for lots and lots of walking tomorrow Yay! he's actually excited about walking for once so yeah so catch you in the morning for a Starbucks. Joe got one as well, but he panicked a bit and they didn't have the drink in the right size, so he, I don't know what he's ended up I with. He just wanted a flat white. He just wanted a flat white, but he wanted a medium one and they don't do medium ones. Um, but I got pumpkin spice latte and then I will try the Christmas ones in Bristol because I can go to Starbucks as much as I want this week. <laughs> I also got a cake. Um, I don't know what I got. It was um, coconut and lime. I don't know what that's going to be like. It looks pretty cute though. Oh, it's a bit smushed. Oh well. But yeah, we're driving to Morton in Marsh now. Um, because they've got their like weekly markets on. So we're going to do that. And then I think we're going to drive to either Burton on Water or Stowe on the Wold and do some like nice little walks through the little countryside lanes. Um, need to figure out where though because. I've just looked at the two maps that I wanted and both of them kind of link together so oh we should have stayed there oh, Joe can't drive he can't drive I'm joking um 
but yeah so we've got to figure out where we want to walk but yeah we've got boots on in fact we both got Timberlands on oh we're matching um so yeah just some nice little walking cute little cafes things like that that's the plan for today Okay, we just rushed back. Um, Joe is now making me go to the cinema. So we've literally been back like five minutes and we're going out. Well, you wanted to go and you were throwing a hissy fit. I'm not throwing a hissy fit. He was throwing a hissy fit. So we're gonna go. We bought loads of stuff in um, the market, but we also got some vegan sweets in the sweet shop. So I'm taking these to the cinema because I doubt they'll have vegan sweets. Um, and yeah, we're gonna go watch June and hope they have tickets because, yeah. humanity's story. I thought I'd show you quickly what we got from the shops. So we went to the Cotswold Distillery and I got my dad some little three gin tasting set. Then we went to the Cotswold Cheese Company. This isn't just from there, but we got some vegan fudge because, you know, can't not. Got some gin fudge as a present. Joe got some cheese and we're not entirely sure when he's going to eat. And we also then got some chili harissa almonds and apricot stem ginger chutney. So these are most of these are presents to be fair for people. Then as you saw they had the markets which for some reason Joe decided to get the dog dog treats. So we have a pig's ear, some chicken feet, cow's hoof pig snout we are basically I'm not opening this until we get home and I really wish I had sellotape it's like leaking why we can we can get all this at home but Joe was being Joe wasn't he and then we got he's just ignoring me we got these cute little prints from Louisa Gov's illustrations so we got this really lovely owl um, drawing which we just thought was really, really lovely. Reminds me of a bit of Hedwig from Harry Potter. And then we got some cards. So we've got a Christmas, little mouse. We got some asparagus, um, a fox, a robin, and a rabbit. So yeah, they were what we picked up in markets. So we did pretty well. We did a lot of shopping, spent a lot of money, but hey ho. Day two, three, two, full, second full day. Um, we are driving down to Laycock, Lacock, something like that. And um, they filmed some of the Harry Potter there, so we were quite excited about because we were giant Harry Potter nerds. Um, so yeah, they've there's like Lake Arc Abbey which 
they've done some of the corridor scenes, the classroom scenes. We're going to try and see if we can have a walk around there. We're going to Sign of the Angel, which I think was like one of the pubs in Harry Potter. Not really sure. And then there's a few like touristy fronts of houses, although I think they're all private property, so we're not entirely sure about that. We're just going to have a wander around and see what's there. And then we're going to drive up to Sirencester. We've got a long time from, so our, our breakfast is at half ten. So we need to leave. Um, and then our dinner's at half six. So we've got a lot of time to kill. So we need to just figure out what we're going to do in between. There's a few walks that I've kind of saved. But I'm just going to see what's around. And we're just going to have a chill one. Hopefully not buy as much stuff. However, there's a Harry Potter themed gift shop. Last time we are about to, well, we're, we've just left Cheltenham and we are driving down to Bristol. We're going to drop the car off because we don't really need it in Bristol. Um, and Joe's got to drive on the motorway one last time. Yes. Um, <laughs> he's done well considering he's never driven on a motorway. Or have you ever driven on an A road? Have you ever driven in the UK? Yes, no, I've driven on a motorway just in France. Have you ever driven in the UK? No. He's never driven in the UK before this trip I mean really the hire car company really messed up but anyway so we're driving we've got 52 miles to go it's saying roughly an hour and seven minutes um, <laughs> it's a bit tight to get the car back we've got this from when we are supposedly meant to arrive we have eight minutes to get the car back but considering we didn't quite get the car at half twelve we'll be fine um, and then we're gonna get the bus into Bristol, the Bristol Airport bus, although we never got emailed the tickets, so we've got to try and hope that they can find our booking. If not, we're just gonna to have to pay for the bus again. Oh, yes, you know, not ideal. And then this is gonna be the afternoon of bougie-ness. We are literally going to a spa hotel for a night, just for a night. Um, bougie-ness, bougie yeah, bougie-ness. Um, so we get there. We've booked a gym slot because we're getting a bit like tetchy without gymming. And then Joe's got a massage. I've got a ah, facial ah, and a massage. Joe's is longer than both of mine put together though. Mine's only going to take like an hour total. And Joe's is like 75 minutes. He's being proper bougie. And then we've got a hour gym, hour gym slot, no, hour spa slot 
um, six till seven tonight. So we're just gonna like figure out dinner when we get to at that point. Because we were gonna go to Wagamama's and you couldn't book that anyway. So we're just gonna we're just gonna walk around and see what we can find. Um, and yeah, that's the plan for today. Nice little drive and then a spa. What more could you want? <laughs> we got a free upgrade. Look at it, as you can see. Joe has made himself right at home. But look how nice it is, look at this. I think this might like, oh no, it doesn't light up, but look. It's so nice. And we've got like a little espresso machine. You having a nap? We're gonna make the gym work. Got some cables. We're not going to the car, yet. We're gonna make it work, we're gonna make it work. I mean, this is a look, isn't it? We've got a cute little. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. So we're about to go for our spa treatments and our sauna. Okay, so I feel. So we've just had our massage <laughs> and it was fabulous. So Joe is full of energy after his massage and I was nice and relaxed and calm. And then I found Joe again. In a nice relaxing spa hotel pool, Joe was pretending to be a shark. Anyway. <laughs> I wonder why I'm so tense all the time. It's because of him. But anyway, we are gonna get <laughs> ready to go and find some dinner now. I'm hoping Wagamama's might be open. If not, we're gonna go to Joe Friday's. We're gonna see what's open. We're gonna have a wander around, but gonna dry the hair first a little bit and chill. She did three nice facial though, like I had a bubble mask at one point, but it was so nice and relaxing. I don't know what that was. So nice and relaxing and my massage was so nice as well. So I feel very zen apart from Joe. <laughs> The gym is massive in comparison to the other one. I don't know what we're training, but my biggest pet peeve of gyms is this. People don't put their weights away. But anyway, we're gonna do a workout. We just got back from the gym and we've just ordered Papa John's delivery, so that'll be here in a minute. But I thought I'd show you quickly what we well, well what I got. So I went to the Lego store for Joe and I got him a little Star Wars Lego because um, he loves his Lego at the minute and we've got two other Star Wars ones at home and then from Primark I got some Christmas bedding look how cute it is it's like little soldiers can you see that little soldiers and like snowflakes and stuff so that's really cute and I love 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 Primark bedding it's just so soft and then I got <laughs> from the men's section because you know I got this really cute top and it's nice and subtle but it's Mickey with little Mickey Mouse faces on and then on the back it's got 28 with Mickey on but I love the Disney stuff in um, Primark we then got some Star Wars boxes you can sense a theme with the Star Wars socks socks but then I picked up just this like again men's section clearly I was just not feeling any of the women's clothes today but this just plain black hoodie um, super soft super cheap um, but I'm basically gonna get this in uh, printed for work and then I may have treated myself. So I've been looking for a black jacket with a hood for so long, like a little cropped puffer jacket. And I went and got one, I treated myself. So we've got Pepsi Max each, and then we got vegan Marmite cheese scrolls. Not sure about these, I think I need to eat a few more to just figure them out. You weren't sure about them, were you? They're okay. They're okay. And then I got the vegan, works and I added extra olives 
and that looks really good. And then Joe got sausage and something. Sausage and pepperoni. Yes. So yeah, we shall enjoy. So today has been a bit of just an everything day. We went to the gym this morning. Well, this morning we woke up a bit late. Um, and then we went to Bath for a few hours. Um, we tried to get into the spas, but we didn't book tickets. So, you know, um, so we just wandered around, did a little bit of shopping. Um, and then we came back, Joe came and chilled and had an, I think he had a nap while I went shopping a bit more. But again, it wasn't very, it wasn't a very successful shopping trip, but now we are ready to go have dinner. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. We got the goods. Um, so let's see what we got. Oh, that's mine. Oh, it's a bit melted. There's mine. My cookie dough. And then Joe's Biscoff one. Oh yes, no, yeah. Kinder Bueno and white chocolate. So we're going to enjoy these. Yeah. We've eaten a lot of food. <laughs> 